Hello there, it's Karen from Be Creative. We made it to 2021. I cannot, I mean, we're not gonna dwell on all that. We have turned the calendar and I'm excited to start the new year with you guys talking about some paper crafting and what do I do in January? I get myself organized. I take stock of my basic supplies. What do I need to replenish? What do I need to get ready to like pre-assemble cards for the year for all the seasons? Cause I've got a lot of birthdays at the beginning of the year um, in my family. What do I need in terms of like adhesive to replenish my stock so I have stuff to go to? Because you know, these are the colder months where a lot of us are indoors um, and you know, not going out, not bike riding, doing all this weird stuff. We're inside because it's cold. I mean, maybe not where I am, maybe where you are, it's really, really cold and you just don't even go out anywhere, but we are still hunkered down here. So it's a great time. January is a great time to just settle in and get some projects done either in the album or out of the album. So let's talk about some fun things we can do in terms of getting ourselves organized, getting some storage going and doing some basic stuff. First off, I want to show you my favorite, favorite brand new storage thing. This comes in either oyster white or black faux leather. And I'm showing you oyster white because it's just such an unusual, cool color uh, that I like it better than the black. So anyway, this is a marker and product storage folder, pencil storage folder. It does everything from Tombow. It's got a handle, easy to carry. It's a double zipper, really nice construction really nice construction and it's got the two zipper pockets in there and this one has all the little elastic bands to hold all your markers these are not going to hold the really fat marker like if you have a tri blender or a copic or something like that but these will hold all your skinny pencils pens i've got some tombow in here i've got some metallic markers i've got my water brush all those other types of supplies that are a thinner uh, marker or pencil and it's got lots of I think it's 54 loops in here to store all that so there's three sections to store the markers and then there's a zipper section to hold other supplies in a little mesh closure um, but nice wide thick and well construction constructed is to hold everything and I just love it I just love the color and it's really a nice texture so that has been white hot right up to Christmas um, we ran out and we got a whole bunch more in because they were selling so quickly I'm just really excited about it and I thought um, I would show you in person so you could see that but that is the Tombow marker storage folder in oyster white or black so highlighting a couple of these storage solutions, because that's what I like to do in January is to get myself organized for the new year. This is our, I would say our most popular bag we have. My organization is not on point. I need to get all co color coordinated, but um, this is our jumbo total long marker storage. It's got, it either comes with the clear racks or the black racks. That's up to you. You get to choose, but we've made the bag um, a wider width to accommodate longer markers like the tri-blend markers from Spectrum Noir, which are really long. So if I take that out, I've just got everything kind of shoved in here. This is like my workshop tote. It's not my personal tote. So I've got everything shoved in there. I've got all kinds of things, glue markers and pencils and all kinds of stuff. But this is a really long marker. A standard like a Copic or a Spectrum Noir is this size and the tri-blends are longer. So we made it longer to accommodate that. So no matter what you've got, it's going to fit in this tote. This has 120 slots. So it will take you a long way and we've made it clear so you can see what you have. You can carry it with you. Really easy to work with. We also have one that comes that's smaller, shorter, and it holds 72. That one is not long enough to hold the longer marker. So you want to look for the jumbo tote that holds 120. That has the wider uh, width here to hold all the really long markers. Just for comparison, I pulled out our 72 marker tote just to show you how it's like 
positioned up where your markers are up versus this one it's always facing you and when you use this guy you would put him this way but you can see the depth difference on that so this is not going to accommodate the longer markers whereas this one is but this still remains among our most popular storage solutions because you can take it with you really easy but this holds 72 this holds 120. Uh, another fun marker storage thing that accommodates both short and long markers would be the Spectrum Noir marker storage folio. This is a canvas storage and the markers come out and you can prop that up. It's got lots of storage in there. Whoops, there I go. And then it's got just lots of space to dump a bunch of stuff in there, pockets. And the cool thing is it's all Velcro, so it comes apart flat and then you just pop it together. So really easy. This will hold, how many does this hold? I think it holds 48 markers in here. There's also um, a number of other marker storage solutions. We've also got our storage racks for stamp pads. Now, these are going to hold most of your standard stamp pad. Like, I've got a Ranger one here. I've got a Versamark. Um, what is this? A Hero Arts. I've got Stays On. Even the little ones, it's got like a lip, too. So if you have the square from Tim Holtz, the Distress ink pads, which aren't rectangular in shape, they're square, this lip will ensure they won't slide all the way back, that you can still access them really easily. So you can stack those as high as you want because these come as individual racks. You can buy them in sets or individually and get your stamp pads all stored as well. We also have our popular stickle storage bag. I've got this guy here so I can keep all my stickles uh, looking and feeling fresh that I can see them. I can put um, glue. I can put stamp pads in here, anything. So that is really handy as well. Our Be Creative bags remain really popular. We've been making these for years. We make them in the U.S., so top quality on the materials and construction and really durable too. So not only can you get organized, um, you can look good while toting all your stuff to and from events. So the inside of this has that waterproof nylon, so it's wipeable, washable. You can wash this in cold and air dry it. Uh, it's got lots of pockets with the Velcro cell phone, water bottle pocket. It will hold the 12 by 12 storage box. It will hold your thermoses, wine bottles, I don't judge. Throw that in there and bring it to a crop. Um, and really padded, thick, and it weighs less than two pounds uh, empty. So really easy to pile all your stuff in there and you're not gonna break your shoulder. Really wide padded strap, really handy. The black damask is retiring, so when that's gone, it's gone. But we have a number of other fun patterns uh, in purples and pinks and all that. So check that out on our website because these are really popular. And typically once a fabric goes away we switch it for something else so when it's gone it's gone this one we've had forever but we are retiring him so if you like the black and white damask uh, grab that there's only a couple left so in the new year i always like to aside from just organizing stuff i like to take stock in my basics to get me ready to do a lot of cards that will take me through the season starting with i have a lot of pisces relatives including myself uh, for who might need to make cards. So February, March is a big card making, card giving time for me. And January is the perfect time for me to get a jump on all my spring cards, my Easter cards, my St. Patrick's cards, all of that stuff. So basic dies are an important part of me assembling all of these different occasion cards. So of course, let's start with the basics. These we've had for a while, but and there's just a few left if you really need something for Valentine's Day. These are great nesting dies, and they're just such a phenomenal price. I think it's a $20 value, and we've got them for $10. Uh, so if you need basic dies, there's scallop edge, stitch edge, and the torn edge in different shapes. So that's one thing. But then we have some new basic dies in some more unusual shapes. These are from Crafters Companion. They will fit in any die cut system. Of course, we do sell the Gemini, which we've got the Junior, the full size. We've got the foil press. We have all that stuff at phenomenal prices and free shipping. So check that out if this is your year to get into an ele electronic die cutting system. But these dies are great because they're just unusual. They're, again, stitch and scalp and different things. But some more unusual shapes you'll see like this. So, And these, again, phenomenal price. They should be more like a $20 value. I believe we have them for 10 bucks. So check those out because when they're gone, they're gone. Additionally, we've got a whole lot of slimline dies. And these are top quality name brand Pink Fresh. 
which makes really great quality dies. And we've got some new ones for the new year. I love this type of a thing because, you know, paper cutting, sure, you can use your paper cutter and cut little strips, but this is a really quick and easy way to do it, to do some fun backgrounds on your slimline cards. And then we've got things like this that does the nice embossing. Uh, and of course, we've got the braided circles, we've got the rectangles, all kinds of good stuff. So check all that out because we've always got them discounted. They're not at full retail. Um, and so you can check that out. Plus, you have your lovely show special to use, which will flash at the end. So check that out too. So hopefully you're inspired to get yourself organized, get some basic items coordinated, ordered, ready to go to get all your projects underway as you stay home and craft some more in this winter season. Uh, I'm excited for 2021 and all the fun virtual events we have coming up, all kinds of classes. I can't wait to do some more fun stuff with you virtually. Who knows if we will see each other in person this year. My fingers are crossed. I hope so. But in the meantime, we have this connection, this virtual connection, and it's been fun hearing from so many of you throughout the last year. And your support means the world to all of us vendors. So thank you for that. So anytime you can visit me online. We also have a Facebook and Instagram page and um, sign up for our email list. Go on our main page of our website, shopbecreative.com, scroll all the way down and join the email list, and then you will be the first to know when we have new arrivals, which we have all the time, and special sales and tips and tricks, virtual events, all that good stuff. So thanks for joining me and happy new year.